I never knew I had a problem with my stomach until I started trying on the dresses. Back fat. That's a big issue. I just have nightmares of waking up and not getting into my dress. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for Bulging Brides. Trying to do me up. Okay. You need to bend. <laughs> oh my god! I need to breathe. Jennifer's a makeup artist who needs a full body makeover before her wedding day. People are going to be saying, here comes the bride, short, fat, and wide. <laughs> Isn't that what you always dream of on your wedding day? Jen can't fit into her wedding dress. Time for some good old-fashioned T and N. It hurts like it's cutting in down there. Your skin's turning red there. I need like a miracle or something. You know what I mean? You asked for a miracle? Tommy, you're a personal trainer. <laughs> the development nutrition specialist. Hello. Having some trouble? <laughs> yeah. Just a little sausagey. You're gonna need this. It's your food diary. Keep track of everything you eat and drink for the okay. next week. And this is your workout uniform. No sausages allowed. No cheating? No cheating. Stagette? Nope. No. I just honestly don't think I could get married like this. Punch, Dan, punch, punch. There's just six weeks until Jennifer's wedding. Ugh. Which means it's time for my tough workouts. I feel like I'm having a baby. And a new way of eating. This isn't even food. Or she'll walk down the aisle looking like a bulging bride. Have you done this up before? We could either do the Oriental or the Steakhouse. I cannot wait for this wedding. I kind of like to go for the steakhouse. It's a destination wedding in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. I think it'd be a winner with everybody. Watching her plan uh, the wedding, is uh, you, can, you can just tell that she's getting so stressed out and um, she's just going straight for the comfort food. When I was single, I had a lot more time to exercise and plan my eating. But since I met Mike, I want to spend as much time as I can with him. Sometimes that involves a lot of eating out. How's the lumpia? It's perfect. I love Filipino food. Quite often we'll have lumpia, which is like spring rolls, and punset. It's kind of like chow mein. I just can't get enough of the stuff. I am a makeup artist, I'm a trainer, so my job is more than 40 hours a week if we have trainings going on. I don't always have time to pack my lunch. It's all about grabbing what's quickest and easiest for me. My dress, I absolutely love it. I wouldn't change anything other than the way it fits. I don't wanna look back in 25 years and think I look like a sausage on my wedding day. I'm Tommy Europe, personal trainer. This is my partner, nutrition coach, Nadine Bowman. We're in a mission to help brides look great on their big day. Jen, welcome to your Isle of Shame. I built some platters based on your food diary, which is horrendous, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the first platter I call the fried Filipino fiesta. I probably eat more than that, actually. You love the lumpia. Oh, I love it. Lumpia is making you lumpy. <laughs> These deep fried spring rolls are fried in oil, lots of oil. Uh -huh. 262 calories and 13 grams of fat in just eight small rolls. Well, it makes sense that I gained 30 pounds eating this. Well, there's a lot more things that you need to give up. Let's go take a look. Okay. I call this platter the convenience combo queen. This is one month of your grab and go takeout meals. <laughs> These meals are quick and convenient, but they're high calorie and high fat, and they're keeping you from fitting into your wedding dress. One double cheeseburger and small fries is 650 calories and 33 grams of fat. Oh my goodness. You don't want your arteries clogged, do you? No. Tuna yeah. is supposed to be good, but this is one of the worst dietary offenders. Gloppy mayo-based tuna salad. <laughs> Yeah. We're talking 530 calories mm -hmm. and 31 grams of fat. It's almost as bad as your burger and fries. Oh, wow. Let's move on. <laughs> That's a lot of whipped cream. I call this platter whipped cream meltdown, <laughs> and it's one year of your whipped cream consumption. Ah. You're taking low calorie, healthy foods like fruit, mm -hmm. and you're nutritionally destroying them with whipped cream. In one year, your caloric intake of whipped cream is enough to put on 14 pounds. <laughs> This isn't even food, this is a topping. Okay, well Tommy's waiting to show you how all these bad foods are affecting your body shape. Looking at all of this food, it totally makes sense that I don't fit into my dress. Hello, Jen. Hello. Welcome to your shape analysis. 
Bust, 41 inches. Waist, 42 inches. Hips, 46 inches. Up on the scale. Weight, 169 pounds. Oh, shocked? Yeah. You're four foot 11, wear a dress size of 12 to 14, 169 pounds. Body type, pear shape. I'm hoping you guys can help me rip my fat suit off so I can get into my dress. Jen, meet our stylist Jean. She's gonna help you into your dress. Hello. Hi. Let's go. This is quite tight. Yeah. Have you done this up before? Yeah, but I think it took two people to do it up. <laughs> Jen, how do you feel? I feel like a stuffed sausage. Jean, tell us about the dress. Well, guys, this is a beautiful dress, but Jen is a very, very petite pear-shaped figure. It's tight all over, but the big problems are in the waist, the tummy, and the hips. Love this detail here. From the front, it's very slimming, but if you've got a really big tummy going on, it's framing it and making it look even bigger. Real struggle getting the zipper up. You know, this dress is supposed to flow over the body, and right now it's just too tight. You don't want to change that dress, do you? No. Then we have to change your body. We're gonna slim down your arms, lose some of this wiggle. You have some buckling back here. We need to lose some inches through your hips and your waist. If you do all those things, that dress is gonna look fantastic on your wedding day. Do you promise to stick to your meal plan? Absolutely. Do you vow to stick to your fitness plan through thick and thin? I do. We've only got six weeks to give Jen a full body makeover before her wedding. I can't get another dress and I don't want to get another dress and I, I'm not going to walk down the aisle with my dress looking like this. Jen, welcome to Tommy's Playground. It will be your physical assessment. This is tossing the bouquet, hard. <laughs> come on, Jen, come get it. Jen is extremely deconditioned, extremely weak, zero endurance, zero cardio. It lets me know that she hasn't done much of anything over the last few years. We gotta slim you down <laughs> in the middle. Twist to one side. I feel like I'm having a baby. After I'm done with you, having a baby's gonna feel real easy. <laughs> For Jen to fit into that dress, she's gonna need a complete overhaul, physically, emotionally, nutritionally, you name it. Jen's gonna have to change from head to toe if she wants to fit into that dress. Two and one. <laughs> On your back. You feel like dying? Yeah. I think dying would be better. You're finished Tommy's Playground. Thank God. Oh. This just gives you a glimpse of what you're going to be in for for the next six weeks. One and two, down three and four. Go next, Jen's battle to look hot continues. Is that supposed to be sexy? <laughs> Jennifer's eating habits have her bulging out of her wedding gown just weeks before the big day. People are going to be saying, here comes the bride, short, fat, and wide. <laughs> Hello, Jen. Hello. So you've put on 30 pounds in the last two years. Thanks for the reminder. How did that happen? It's just being lazy and eating out a lot, especially late at night. You keep those ways up, this is what's going to happen to you. Wow. That's giving you another 30 pounds in two years. Follow the meal plan and the fitness plan, and this will be your new path. Much better. How committed are you going to be to getting that shape? Very committed. Good. Let's start now. All right. Jen, it's time to do whatever it takes, right? <laughs> this is a push-up walk. Good. You're going backwards now. Backwards, backwards, backwards. As backwards. soon as I walked in, Tommy had me on all fours, crawling across the floor, and I felt like I was going to die, and that was just right, the warm-up. Engage your core. Your back doesn't bend at all. Bend those legs. Here we go. Good. You want that hourglass? Yes. You're going to have to work for it. She's out of shape, Ugh. and everything is going to hurt. You're doing a sit-up to a stand-up. Huh? Sit-up to stand-up. Like stand right like up? Like stand right up. Ugh. Try not to turn as much. Okay. And then right back down. Jen is going to be training five to six days a week. Three of the days are going to be with me. Two to three are going to be by yourself. Three, two, one. <laughs> Jen? Yeah. You want to look good in that wedding dress? Yes. Then you're going to have to stick to the fitness plan and stick to the meal plan. Good work today. Thanks. <sighs> Jen, welcome to one day in the life of your new food. What do you think? 
Wow, it doesn't look like much. We actually took your calorie count down to 1,400 a day, and that's all you need, being four foot 11. Okay. No more late night eating. Okay. And water, mm -hmm. eight glasses a day minimum. So what do you think, Jen? Is this something that you can do? I hope so, but I definitely have a hard time with the prepping and planning, so it's gonna be difficult. Why don't I show you some tips on how to make that easier in your life? All of these are made from rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken is a great option if you take the skin off and you avoid the dark meat. White meat only. Chicken stir fry. Okay. It's got three ounces of chicken, two cups of vegetables, a little bit of olive oil, and teriyaki sauce. Lettuce wrap. Take the mix, throw it in a leaf of lettuce. Delicious, refreshing, light. Sounds great. This is a chicken skillet pizza made with multi-grain tortilla. You've got peppers in there, you've got onions, mushrooms, and a little bit of tomato sauce. And one ounce of the skim matzo cheese. Oh, I like that. That sounds awesome. There's gonna be a lot of temptation at this stag out of Jen. She doesn't know what's gonna go on, but she knows for sure there's gonna be drinking and there's gonna be eating. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Did you have a good time last night? Flashback a few weeks. No cheating? No cheating. Stag it? Nope. Apparently you like the pole. <laughs> Alcoholic drinks. Shooters. Does it sound like your stag it? From what I can remember. Well, do you remember this? Mm, thanks for that. Is that how you want your friend walking down the aisle? No. So we need to burn off those calories. Today you're gonna to be going through a cardio hip hop dance class. Angela, meet Angela. <laughs> Morning ladies. Step, touch, step, touch again. Two, four. Now you want straight arms. Don't give me noodle arms. No noodle arms, okay? That's weak. All right, keep going ladies, come on. Pick the sexy hip hop cardio class for Jen's payback because number one, it's very intense. Give me some energy. Angela is a great instructor. Make it sexy, let me see some hair. And uh, I just really wanted the girls to pay. One and two, down three and four. Go right, left, right, left, forward. Is that supposed to be sexy? I'm pretty sure my friends were a little upset with me that I dragged them out so early this morning. Up, two, three, and pose. You, hold on to this. Time is not on your side. Let's hope for the next few weeks that they are. I'm super exhausted. I've been up since quarter to six this morning. Next, Mike's not showing the support Jen had hoped for. Ah, sex to be you, eh? Bulging bride Jennifer is desperate to get aisle ready, but she's already overwhelmed, and we're only halfway through. By the time I get home, I am absolutely exhausted. All I want to do is lie on the couch and go to bed. Hello, Jen. Hello. Bust, 39 inches. You're down two inches. Yes. Waist, 40 inches. You've lost two inches off your waist. Oh, that's not bad. Hips, 44 inches. Another two inches off your hips. All right, I'll take it. Six inches, nice work. Thank you. We need to hear the weight now, though. Weight, 100. 61 pounds. All right. You lost eight pounds. Yes. Eight pounds, six inches, fantastic. Now, because of your great results, we're gonna send you off to see Jean. You have a beach wedding coming up. You and Jean are gonna go shopping for some bling. So today, I thought I'd help you find some accessories that'll really complement your dress and give you a long, lean silhouette. She's really sparkly, so of course she likes sparkly jewelry. She loves bling. Cuffs and bracelets. Very great accessory. I love it. I really wanted to add some bling to my dress because it is quite simple. And it won't distract from all the beautiful detail on right. your dress. Hair accessories creates volume, it draws the eye upwards, and makes you look taller than you actually are. So you just clip it to the side. I was really surprised at the impact that the accessories would have on either being slimming or not slimming. I think for you, these beautiful crystal studs will do the trick. So let's put it all together and see how it looks. Okay. 
with the cuff and the simple earrings and the hair piece, you know, creating this long, lean, slim, taller gen. This looks absolutely stunning. So I need you to help me decide maracas or shot glasses for our wedding favors. Shot glasses. Shot glasses? Yeah. I was kind of hoping for the maracas. Why? Because they're nice and they're fun. People can like use them for dancing and stuff later. Fine, whatever. Look, I'm super exhausted. I've been up since quarter to six this morning and I had to go to the gym. Then I had to come home, get ready for work, and I worked all day and I just, I really need some help because I'm eating chicken and vegetables and you're eating pizza. And you know pizza's my favorite. Uh, sucks to be you, right? <laughs> yeah. Next, Mike gets more than just a taste of what Jen's been going through. I'm really feeling really, I'm feeling dizzy. Jen's been working hard for nearly six weeks, hoping to lose enough weight to fit into her wedding dress. You want that hourglass? Yes. You're gonna have to work for it. Jen, Mike, how you doing? Doing well, thanks. Today's gonna be your partner challenge. She was actually kind of concerned about you. Yeah, I've kind of been lazy lately and eating a lot of junk. Well, I hope you slept well last night. For today's partner challenge, we're going five kilometers. Hills and stairs. Son of a <laughs> This <laughs> sucks! Jeez. Jen doesn't like running stairs or running hills. Today's partner challenge was filled with both. Come on, guys! Let's go, let's go, let's go! So far, they're doing great. What they don't know, more stairs. It was brutal. I could just feel my lungs burning. I was super wet. My feet were wet. My legs were burning. Oh, and Tommy's too. yelling at me and Mike's yelling at me. Tommy, is there a pizza up there waiting for me? The only thing waiting for you is another hill. Oh, come on. <sighs> yeah. Thank you. Captain. Congratulations, you two. Thank you. You completed your partner challenge. Jen finished very strong. Mike, not so much. I'm really feeling really, I'm feeling dizzy. Okay, let's get you down. Hold on, I got you. <laughs> I just felt like I was gonna black out. Uh, felt a little faint, chest got a little tight. Uh, I haven't ran like this in a long time. Keep your eyes open, stay up nice and tall. This is what a partner challenge is all about. You were helping Jen a little bit early on, now Jen helps you out. I was dehydrated, it was my stag this weekend, so. So I guess you're gonna do some of the workouts with Jen now, huh? For sure. <laughs> Jen's been super inspirational. Waking up at six in the morning, going, I got to get, I got to work out before I got to work. And I said, I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't know if I can do that, but I, I guess I can if you can. Hello, Jen. Hello. Bust, 39 inches. Down two inches. Waist, 37 inches. Jen, you've lost five inches off your waist. Yay, that's nice awesome. Nice work. <laughs> hips, 43 inches. Down three inches off your hips. All right. Total of 10 inches you've lost. Oh, wow. Well, let's stay on that theme and get you up on the scale. Weight, 150. Five pounds. You've lost 14 pounds. Oh my God, that is awesome. I'm very happy about that. Right now, it's time to get you in that wedding dress. I can really see a difference in your body. Whoop. There we go. Look at your waist. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with the waist and how it looks in the dress. How's she doing in there, Jean? Almost ready. I invited a few special guests to be the first to see Jen in the dress. All right, here comes Jen. <laughs> oh my god, Jen, you look Yay. so beautiful. Thank you. Well, you guys were there when we ambushed Jen, so you know exactly what the dress did look like. So now, six weeks later, 14 pounds, 10 awesome. inches. <laughs> Lost. 
Jean, why don't you tell us about the dress? Well, clearly Jen has worked super hard because in the very beginning she was a pear shape and you couldn't wait to get the dress <laughs> off because it was so tight. And now it looks like you're enjoying every minute of being in this dress. Yeah. It's really coming in at the waist. <laughs> the dress just falls over your body before. It was really tight in the back. Zipper went up with no problem. Everything looks beautifully sculpted in the back. You just look <laughs> absolutely stunning. Thank you so much. It's been more than a pleasure to work with you. You worked extremely hard, great results. You look fantastic. I hope you feel fantastic. I do feel good. You ready to walk down that aisle? I'm ready. I feel like a totally different person now compared to six weeks ago, and I feel amazing. She's standing taller. She's got a smile on her face. I just, I wish her nothing but the best. I'm so excited. Jen and Mike make a great couple, and I'm hoping Jen can rub off on Mike and get him in the fitness game because, Mike, you ain't so fit. So now you got your wife to catch up to. Have a great wedding, congratulations. It's been a pleasure. Jennifer made the switch to a healthy lifestyle and lost 14 pounds and 10 inches. She looks gorgeous and is ready to shine at her Mexican beach wedding. Losing the 14 pounds and the 10 inches has affected me and my whole entire life. Like I'm sleeping better, I feel better, I have so much more energy. Now that I'm fitting the dress better, I love it all over again, and I can't wait to walk down the aisle.